Hey, what's going on? It's March 11th. My name's Reagan the Doom Wizard, broadcasting live from a room in Copley, Ohio, where recently in the past 24 hours in the city I live near, I was, uh, had my car stolen. So, you know, crime is all over the country. What you're looking at is Seattle, infamous for its underground crime scene, uh, which basically the whole city's built on this, like, underground caverns of trade routes for mobsters and, you know, mm, crime syndicates and things like that. And, of course, you have all the, you know, I mean, just look at it. It's gorgeous. This this city building, this enterprise, this these viruses. Okay, not trying to get Agent Smith here. I'm glad you're with me. We have a lot of stuff to cover cover and I'm not exactly sure I'm in the right state to do this but I know when I do feel like this it means I should hit record um like I said um I got my car recovered things are okay for now I just took a I took a hit for towing um someone just wanted to take my car for a joyride mess it up a little bit and you know just fuck with me which is you know the way things go I'm not going to correlate it to anything or another. Just what happens. Life is suffering. That was me walking the walk. But what else? What, am I narcissistic? Do I think I'm super important? That I have something like spectacular to say amongst all these little ants moving around on the screen in front of you? No, no, no. I am just feel like it's my place to talk about what's happening in the world. I have the equipment and the privilege to do so. And so not taking this opportunity to do uh, coverage, you know, would be a sin. Let's move on. Let's move on. Some atmospheric flooding in California. Right? Right. Well, apparently meteorologists are saying that it's going to be as bad as in 1969, a day after rain flooded streets, homes, warning, tr trigger warning, this gets pretty uh, violent and emotional. Um, last week's rain dropped five inches of the stuff. This was published January 24th. 50 years ago this month, a series of storms led to havoc. Two days of rain was, and then even more, and rarely stopped for the next nine days. When it finally, the ground saturated, seven inches of rain dumped in local cities immediately became a runoff. Cuyamonga creek was more like Cuyamonga River spilling into the streets okay you can imagine National Guard was called out so was the US Marine Corps from Mount Baldy to Alta Lama by the way guys I have had uh, a glass of coke and whiskey so I'm just chill right now I'm just chill uh, residents of Foothill Knowles neighborhood upland sit in evacuation centers I mean this is back in the day 400 million you see it just a wreck you know, evacuees everywhere, and then this one tragic thing, um, a landslide in Mount Baldy crushed a house, killing three children, the father, who was a short distance away, he saw the whole damn thing, suffered a heart attack, and he died too. Talk about drama. Whew. Um, what differentiated this from the 1938 flood was that they did, uh, flood control work, uh, after World War II, they actually, you know, tried to do improvements. Improvements. I always forget to click away these ads. Okay. Right. So we're getting the gloomy territory. So what we're looking at is like these sorts of floods coming every mm, two years or sooner. I mean, they keep getting hit with atmospheric floods. It's okay. It's okay, let's be snarky. Tesla will use a magnetic engine to stop using rare earth minerals. Hello. However, he didn't... That man... Is he a person? He's not even a man. Did not divulge information about the precise materials used. Okay. So he's going to use a Mars alien material. or The mothership is here, in fact, so he's probably... Yeah, working along with that. Alright, conspiracy theorists anywhere... Uh, atmospheric River, again, comes for California's exports warning. Uh, ugly, just kind of tying back in with that last article. I got in a tangent there. Um, a fresh atmospheric river, bring more chaos. 
get really ugly. And this is where they said, uh, I think in this report, I mean, there's snow everywhere. It's it's just, I'm so gl I'm glad I didn't move there. I, I dodged a bullet. I dodged a bullet. Okay, they're really hitting me with ads. This is what we mean by, you know, uh, abrupt and irreversible climate change. This is what we mean by uh, tipping points. Okay, our tipping points here because of compounding back-to-back -back disasters. Like two hurricanes striking within days. I mean, we're seeing that already in parts of Florida. They They just try to get one tragedy quickly tangenting after another you know a heat wave followed by a hurricane compounding events they're not new huh but the northeastern seaboard hit was was hit by two hurricanes in night in 1954 carol and edna in a space of 12 days killing 80 people causing flood and death damage estimated at half a billion dollars and remember there was like fucking only one billion people on the planet or two <sighs> there's so many goddamn people okay that was kind of fascinating we got a little atmospheric river tangent because that's happening not just here everywhere uh you know vietnam and china okay which countries work their ass off though this is work many hours Let me zoom in on this oh how many how many vacation days do we get? Okay. Ten. Ten. Taiwan, 17. China, 16. 30. 27. What the fuck? Does anyone have ten? Mexico, kind of. They work their asses off down there, too. And in Canada, oh. And Tunisia. But, I mean, get fucking real. Everywhere's, like, more than 20 places. Nigeria, okay? In China, we work our asses off. And not in a good way. And we don't get paid not nearly as much. Okay. But it's okay. It's alright. Because I'm disabling my ad blocker. And gonna reload this post from Observation Post. Pentagon UFO chief says alien mothership in our solar system possible. Can we underline, highlight that? Bong, they're right above the Pentagon. Look at that. The mothership is here. Everybody say it together. The meat sauce mothership is here. Okay, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but... The, this guy, Kirkpatrick, appointed director of AARO, served as chief scientist of Defense Intelligence Agency Missile. Space Intelligence Center says... They've uh, established investigations of objects of interest. Okay. Anyways, they dubbed some object this um, wa scout with probe capabilities. So they're sending out probes from the mothership. All right, and that's what those little blot, those little fast-moving things are. We're seeing in our float around. All the re the pilots are reported seeing an unidentified aerial phenomenon. Yeah. Right. Spy boon or on a UAP? Spy boon or a UAP? Okay, the eternal question. The mothership is here. They know. We already just figured it out. World's first study in the global air pollution says almost nowhere is safe. Okay, get that. World first study, I'm sure you've had these before, but let's say world first study of fine articulate matter across the globe, a monash. University studies found that only 0.18% of global area and 0.001% of the global population is exposed to levels of PM2.5. All right. The world's leading environmental health risk factor below safe levels. So only this much of the population, this much of the globe is like considered safe. And we haven't really got good air uh, monitoring stations set up. Excuse me. I mean, I guess I'm getting that the sense here. Despite the slight increase, we're still all being polluted. All right, you can get in the weeds on that one. I believe it. I just saw this YouTube thing. This like hippie girl was like 
can you even farm it's so toxic like what are we really putting in our plants okay i know you try to keep natural north, north korea leader calls for intensified drills he's been setting up actual training simulations firing off like eight ballistic missiles on on thursday probably more over the weekend at least six missiles fired at the same time. I mean, this is like out of control. This is insane mode. This is what I'm talking about. I, I put a post in my community feed and I said, everything is on insane mode. Insane in the membrane because BP CEOs paid more than doubles to 12 million emissions unchanged. This just fucking, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Record profit. Oh, their shares are down 2%. Yeah, he's made this much money. You know why, man, we must look like the stupidest fucking little ants. Uh, I didn't really get too deep in this one. I just pulled it up. New study reveals biodiversity loss drove ecological collapse after the great dying. Just a run through here. History of life has been punctuated by several mass extinctions. Yes, the greatest of these, one of the greatest of these, Permian-Triassic extinction known as the great dying, 252 million years ago. They agree on its causes. The remaining ecological collapse that followed remains a mystery. Maybe aliens already were here and were like, nah, we need to just cleanse the earth, restart the system. Let's play another little experiment. Let's introduce Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates and a shit ton of ape monkeys scratching their heads and then they, they reset the whole thing. I don't know. You can read this whole thing. But apparently we just like died. Uh, we... We cannot predict the tipping point which will send ecosystems into total collapse, but it's an inevitable outcome if we do not reverse biodiversity loss. We are currently losing species faster than any in the Earth's past extinction. It is, prob <laughs> it is probable that we are in the first phase of another more severe mass extinction. Oh my god. We found that biodiversity loss in the first phase extinction was primary loss of the functional redundancy limited sufficient number of species to form essential functions, but when environmental disturbances like global warming or ocean occurred later on ecosystems were missing that reinforced that reinforced resistance which led to abrupt ecological collapse talk about doom so the whole thing just like system mainframe collapse like blue screened it like blue screens to death you know boots back to ms dos <laughs> we're just gonna reset the whole fucking system <laughs> we'll be dead and gone and all the things all the coral reefs all the shit with us Okay, climate economy was so intense yesterday. Um, Sell-off, 60% wipeout with uh, Silicon Valley. Um, just shale boom is over. Like, it's just chaos, dude. Uh, everything's going into insane mode. Like our global emission, I mean, our uh, energy consumption. Let's take a look, quick look here. This is published yesterday. World's energy mix... I mean, look at it. We still use in 2021, we're increasing, okay, increasing oil, increasing gas. Doesn't matter. Hydropower, look, barely. Even biofuels, too. That's Those are massive. And coal, just, you know, we're increasing consumption. We're driving ourselves so, to extinction. I'm so sorry if you had children. Okay, moving on. The ironic side effects of rapid global energy transition. There's a consensus among climate advocates that can be avoided by if we retool the energy system. But, but, warmer seas, cleaner air, uh, surge in northern hemisphere to water temperature since new pollution regulations came into effect three years ago. Oops, aerosol masking. We know what's happening here. We done fucked it up. Okay, the International Maritime implemented ship standards and slashed maximum level of sulfur allowed in shipping fuels. The resulting drop of sulfate particles in the atmosphere caused a surge in solar radiation absorbed by the oceans along the world's busiest shipping. I mean, even in the air, so it's like, what it's, yeah, in localized regions, when less, we stop, you know, producing shit in the air, then it war warms up. Um, Averaging one degree Celsius higher. If the trend continues, the northern hemisphere 
la- mid latitudes where many of us live will warm much more rapidly. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh, and green powder waste. Uh, wind turbines are just like a big like there's there's so much work and um I mean this is cutting in on it this is basically saying like you're you stupid humans you're not doing this right you won't make the green transition you won't AV batteries like solar get what build one th- million billion wind turbines by 2030 get out of the park. China pummeled by rain of worms. Ask residents to carry umbrellas. That's normal. Another normal day in China. That's fucking bizarre. Hee hee. LOL. Rain of worms. TikTok. Bing bong. Umbrellas. Okay, how about we're in like abrupt, irreversible climate change? Maybe the world's ending. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, kind of entertaining. Who's this lady? Jennifer Granholm mocked for screaming climate change the existential threat. What exactly are her credentials to be energy secretary, one user wondered. Oh, U.S. Department of Energy Secretary loudly implored Americans to take climate change seriously during interview. Okay, she did. And in her upcoming at S and South by Southwest Festival. She looked in the camera and screamed climate change existential threat. She then demanded to know if Americans even care about the future of their children. Oh, we gotta watch this, I guess. I can't play it. We gotta watch it later. Even though Asia yeah, she tried to help. She tried to say China was like doing good, but really China's like doing the worst. They're building a new coal facility, a coal plant every two weeks. Yeah, people don't people can't can't register long term threats, man. I see people every day. Look at the way they move around. They don't give a fuck. Nobody gives a shit. Uh, through cool technology. All right, I'm getting wiped, guys. Um, damn it, I really wanted this one to be unblocked, but hungry moose fing- fingered as possible fingered as possible factor in climate change. The mooses are eating so many trees that they're chain- They might be contributing to climate change. Okay, that was really loosely done. All right, this has been your wrap-up. March 11th, time's about to change, about to mess us up. I wanted to get this out. Had fun. Hope you liked the report. I'll talk to you soon, doomers. See ya.